Well, Department of Labor statistics show that roughly two-thirds of working age people with disabilities remain out of the workforce. And often, it's the lack of skills training that's the difference between those with a job and those without. Slice and dice. All by feel and not by sight. I really enjoy coming to work because everyone's very positive. Kelly Chappelle lost her sight from a retina disease, yet still works as a chef at Francis Tuttle Technology Center's Tut's Cafe. My least favorite job in the kitchen is probably um, peeling potatoes. I don't really look forward to doing that, but I have to. She's been great. She's here every day on time. One of my, one of my best employees. Yet unemployment is high among the visually impaired. According to the National Federation of the Blind, 60% of vision impaired workers are actively unemployed. In downtown Oklahoma City, Michael Harvey teaches lessons he knows well. I'm going to empower them by teaching them the tools. Training other visually impaired on how to be self-sufficient. How to get basic directions, how to problem solve. If you get stuck by a construction zone, how do you get around it? Equipping others with transferable skills that can make them more marketable in the workforce. One of the problems with blind, with blind people finding jobs is a lack of training. Many blind people don't have the opportunity or don't take the chance to go get the blindness skills training that they need. So therefore, they're more reliant on people than it's probably feasible for them to be as independent or as employable as they need to be. Rob Slaughterback is one of Harvey's students and knows all too well that finding a job can be difficult. I actually have a bachelor's in industrial engineering and a master's in business. Even with that, I uh, attended several job interviews face to face. They liked me, everything went great, but never would receive a phone call. And eventually, after months and months of that going on, that, that really starts to wear on you and you get depressed uh, and, and questioning your own abilities. Which is why Slaughterbeck is working with Harvey, all in an effort to be seen for more than blind. Yeah, the biggest thing is just treat them like you would any of your sighted friends. Uh, you know, if you would hold the door open for your friends, hold the door open. If you wouldn't, don't. <laughs> you know, they're, we're not special people. We just want to be treated like people in general. And while working in a sighted world can be difficult, breaking through stereotypes might be their biggest challenge. For myself, I know I learn from making mistakes. If people stop me from making a mistake, then the next time I'm more apt to make that same mistake again. An attitude of self-reliance that employers like Keith Hubble says inspires him every day. It's not that hard. It's not that scary. You'd be surprised. Most people will really, uh, can really shock you all in that nature. Prove something, you know, that they can, they can produce like everybody else. They can work like, I mean, there's no difference. 